Each crafter should have a large supply of bits, small scraps and pieces of cheap jewelry. This project was strongly inspired by these clip buttons for shirts, which I think are perfect wheels for mine carts. First of all, the base. I cut out a rectangle of a graphics chipboard of 1 inch by 1 inch and a quarter so that inside it could uh, comfortably house a miniature. For the sides of the cart, I started a random series of measurements. The height is 3 quarters of an inch, while for the inclination of the extremities I went on uh, by trial and error, finding the ideal inclination at about uh, 30 degrees. But I suggest you to look for the shape that best suits you. The all important thing, once you find the right shape, use each side as a reference template for the one on the opposite side, for easy work and a more precise result. Once I got the four pieces, I glued them to the bottom with my hot glue gun. Attention! I used hot glue only at the base to have some elasticity on the inclination of the pieces. Only once satisfied with their positioning, I fixed everything with a few drops of super glue. Now the metal reinforcement bars. I cut some strips of uh, graphic chipboard about uh, 4 mm thick and uh, of sufficient length to cover the entire perimeter of the car. To simulate raw iron, I didn't cut the strips but I simply folded and glued them to the cart, one side at a time, as you can see here. In the end, I cut the excess cardboard and I filed the end for a cleaner effect. For the upper bar, I used the same procedure. Once the horizontal bars were in place, I added the vertical reinforcement, simply measuring by eye and cutting the pieces of the appropriate length. First I placed them according to my personal taste, then I fixed them with the super glue. I used two vertical bars for each side of the car. The next step 
can be a little tricky and requires a bit of patience. Using cheap jewelry, I have simulated large rivets for metal bars. I attached a rivet to each joint point, plus a few extras to reinforce the structure. I love these small wooden mushrooms. They are ideal for tampons, even though I know what the most perfectionist of you will say. Usually, they are not made like that on the mining wagons. Now the wheels. I used a round section of fatty sticks and I cut them of uh, the right length. They must protrude by about a millimeter on each side, so it will be easy to glue the four wheels. Here I insert small bracelet springs to simulate suspensions. And some small rings to embellish everything. For these, I use super glue for a clean and fast result. One of the best ways to support this channel is to shout through my Amazon affiliate links. If you click on the link on the description box below, you will find the list of products I love and recommend. By clicking on the link of your country, you can make purchases directly on Amazon, allowing me to obtain from Amazon a small, very small percentage on the sale of the product. Nothing changes for you, but for me is all the support of the world. Take a look. Nothing could be easier than painting this piece. A layer of acrylic black paint with my faithful brush and a dry brush with metallic silver. See how the dry brush brings out all the details, bringing this piece to real life. Thank you.